hydrogels are proving to be extraordinarily useful. Here at BioCity Scotland, Eleanor Irvine and Biogelex are chemically tweaking peptide hydrogels for applications in cell biology. So cell biologists are very limited in terms of their research when they want to grow cells in the lab because they tend to grow them in plastic petri dishes, which, if you think about it, don't actually mimic the way our cells grow and thrive in the body because our cells are, are surrounded by tissue, tissue that's complex, three-dimensional, and in some cases maybe soft, like with brain matter, or rigid in the case of bone. Biogelix offer hydrogels that are capable of mimicking tissue so the cell biologist has a better environment to recreate what's going on in our body but study them on the bench. So what's the difference between what you're doing and what, what everyone else is doing? What's the biggest difference? What we really address is this custom designed platform for any cell biologist. Um, there are other three-dimensional scaffolds and matrices out there but some of them are made from sort of animal-derived substances um, and in other cases they offer one gel that's meant to be used for any cell type. We can tune our gels to offer different stiffnesses, therefore uh, match the tissue matrix or tissue mimic uh, that the, the cell requires. So if you wanted to grow brain cells, we'll offer you a soft gel. Um, if you wanted to grow bone, uh, bone cells, we would move towards a, sort of a more rigid gel. Inspired by biology, because biology has all the answers, I asked myself the question, what is the simplest uh, peptide-based molecule that can uh, self-assemble and form a gel? And uh, we looked in the literature and got inspiration and found that dipeptides are able to self-assemble. So that's where we start. So it's just two amino acids? It's two amino acids. Now, we've moved on a lot from that. We now actually, we want to achieve functionality and the way most chemists in this area achieve functionalities by making these building blocks more and more and more complicated. And our approach is actually to use more complex mixtures, but still of small molecules. So we are very supramolecular in our approach. We, the, 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 the covalent chemistry is all very, very simple molecules, but when you bring them together and get them to self-assemble in the right way, you can do wonderful things with this. And I think this, this is exactly what biology does. How easy is it to use the gels, given that your customers are biologists, not chemists? We supply the gel in a slightly viscous solution that looks a little bit like this. So you can see it's, it's pretty much free-flowing, but it's slightly viscous. Um, when you bring this material into contact with the tissue culture media, you get almost instantaneous gelation. So it's rapid gelling, which is attractive to, uh, to users because they would expose this material to their cells and they would like to, if they do a 3D culture, they would like the, the gel to form around um, the cells, um, ideally within the space of minutes. I think this is also where we are probably quite unique in our approach. You know, we, we are unapologetically materials chemists. Uh, we don't claim to be biologists and we, we, we also do not try to solve biological problems ourselves. We, we provide the biological community with a uh, materials chemistry solution that helps them address their problems. So over the last year, we've been able to sell our products to academics and sort of innovative research contracts with SMEs. But ultimately, we want to target higher growth markets like cell-based assay screening for pharmaceutical companies, you know, improving their their platform so that they can screen drugs more effectively and essentially reduce animal testing. But also the regenerative medicine market, we're looking to develop gels that can grow cells, culture them in a certain way, where you would essentially take a patient's own stem cells, develop them to a certain type of cell and uh, deliver them back into the body as a way of triggering self-repair. Now, we are, uh, with our capability, we've got five full-time staff at the moment, we really need to grow the company and take on more operational staff to be able to do that and actually do a lot more business development. For that, we need another round of investment and that's something that we're seeking uh, for the end of this year to be able to target these new higher growth markets and also develop the business further, generating new IP and new products for these markets. <laughs>